Hello guys, this is Bakka Pachinjorikar. Welcome back to Test Automation Tools Selenium. In this video tutorial, we will discuss test energy framework annotation for Selenium automation testing over Selenium WebDriver. This is the fourth video tutorial on test energy annotations. Let us jump to the high level agenda for the today's video tutorial. Uh, these are all the test strategy annotations I have discussed in the first VT tutorial on test strategy annotations. I have discussed all the annotation test with the different parameters, annotation before method and annotation after method and also I have discussed annotation before class and the annotation after class and we have discussed annotation before test and annotation after test but we have not discussed this annotation before group and annotation after group and we have not discussed till now annotation and sorry annotation data provider we have discussed in the pre previous video tutorial that is annotation before suit and the annotation after suit in this video tutorial we will discuss this annotation before group and the annotation after group. Let us jump to the Eclipse ID. Let me create the fresh class. Just press Ctrl N and then just you type class and here you select the type of class as a test ng class. Click on next button and here you mention the class name. Here I am mentioning test ng class sorry test ng annotations that's all just click on finish button as you got the new project here I'm getting the some error here let me look into the error I think uh, it is mismatching with the package so just I'll look into the package what exactly the error is just click on here just change to the declare declaration that is test ng dot test ng dot annotations that's all here I'll just uh, make form format here I'll mention this as a test that's all First, we will discuss how to create the single group or the multiple groups and after that we will see how to use the annotation before group and the annotation after group. First, I will show you how to create the single group. This is a say group 1, group 1 test and here I will do just system.out.println you can write your uh, regular code that is uh, with respect to a browser in my case just I'm showing you the usage and you can try at your end writing the code for the web browser so here I'm writing running under group 1 that's all let me copy the same program and I'll paste sorry let me copy the same test I'll paste it down this is my second group that's all first I'll tell you how to declare the groups just you have to pass the annotation test as a pair sorry as a parameter that is groups G R O U P S equal to in braces you have to specify the name for this particular group this particular method belong to this particular group whatever the name you are giving in the braces here I am specifying this as a smoke testing that's it let me look into the error it is giving something error so it is not it is not giving error because you have to specify this in the 
double quotation then error will be resolved that's it this is the one group I have created then you will be having question how to create the multiple groups so that is very simple if you just copy this and paste it here just you give the comma and write one more method if you want to write something uh, sanity testing this is how you have to create the groups this is the first method I have defined with the group as smoke testing and the second method I have defined with the two groups that is uh, smoke testing and the sanity testing that's all let me define annotation before group and the after group just here I am writing before group instead of annotation test I am using the before group that is that's that's the only difference write the public wide here I am writing before group this is a before group method right so just I am writing before group simply I will write one system dot out dot println under this annotation group method just uh, here I am uh, printing something running under before group that's all just import the related packages here it is giving me the some suggestion this is not a group it is a groups just import the uh, related packages that is from the test ng annotations that's all I'll copy the same here and just I'll paste it down that's all Just import the uh, packages okay that's it so let me explain you what exactly this before groups and the after groups how it will work before groups means if you want to run with this particular method whatever the annotation with the before groups you have to specify the group name after specifying the group name it will always run before running that particular group whatever you have created here two groups right so here you have to pass the group name for this before groups and the after groups suppose say if I pass the parameter as smoke testing for these two annotation that is a before groups and the after groups before running this particular group 1 method it will execute this before group method and once executed this before group method again it will go to the this particular group method and then after that it will execute this particular method because it, these two methods will be working with respect to the groups here I have specified two groups still I have not passed any parameters to this particular groups that is annotation before groups and the annotation after groups so for running these two groups that is a before group and the after group you have to specify the group name so that these two methods will run before running that particular group tests or after running that particular group tests like this you can specify n number of test in the any class java class are in test suit in my case I have specified only one test with the group name as a smoke testing you can write the same group with the multiple tests that's all just what I'll do is here I'll give it the 
name of that group and it will this particular method will be running before running that particular method so here i am mentioning the before group parameter so just you have to mention the groups equal to you have to specify the group name just i'll copy this particular group i'll paste it here i'll copy the same to the and i'll paste it here that's it this particular method whatever the before group it will run before running this particular group related tests you can define n number of tests for this smoke testing group just you have to pass the annotation test with the groups equal to smoke testing if you specified then all the tests belonging to this group will be running this before group method before running this particular group group of tests it will run this before group method that's all and same applies for this after group as well as here i have mentioned smoke testing group say for example i have 50 tests belong to belongs to smoke testing in that case after running all the tests belongs to the smoke testing group at the end after group will execute that's all now how it will execute this program is this I will uh, tell you the output first it will execute the before group because this I have only two tests that is that contains smoke testing one and the second one is smoke testing and the sanity testing so it will run first before running these groups that will print you the running under group uh, before group and after that it will run this particular group one and the group two and finally it will execute running under the after group why it will execute this group two is we have mentioned mul sorry multiple group names here right sanity testing and smoke testing i have specified methods for this particular before group and after group right so that is the reason it will execute after this ex execution of this group 2 method suppose say for example if i if i mention this sanity testing as a parameter for this before group and the after group only this particular particular group 2 method will be executed so just run this program and you will get a clear idea how it is functioning that is the annotation before groups and the annotation after groups see here first it is running under the before group because i have specified the tests in terms of groups right so it is running before group before running this particular test and after that it is sorry it is executing running under group one and after that it is executing the second method that is group two and finally it is executing the running under after group that's all total test run is two and then there are no failures and then there are no skips as well as that's all i have in this video tutorial let me check out we will discuss annotation data provider in the next video tutorial if you have any queries you can comments in the comments section or else you can drop me an email to my gmail id or else you can send out an whatsapp message to my mobile number if you want to learn more about selenium please click on subscribe button if you like this video please like and share this video thanks for watching